So now you can ride around on your unicycle and you want to know what comes next. Well, you're in the right place. In today's lesson, we'll talk about how to get more comfortable on your unicycle and you'll get your feet wet with your very first trick. The first new skill I want to talk about is riding your unicycle with one foot. This is a pretty flashy trick that's actually super easy to learn. If you remember last time, I suggested that you practice riding at different speeds for homework. This is the reason for that. Riding with a little speed is going to help you a ton here. Keep all your weight on the seat while you pedal and pick one foot up for just a half rev. Then put it back on and keep riding normally. Get comfortable with the half rev before you move on. Eventually, you can start counting full revs just like you did when you learned to ride. Try it with your foot dangling off to the side or try it with your foot resting on the frame. The most important thing here is that you've just unlocked the single coolest way to get off your unicycle. The next skill we're going to work on this week is absolutely the most important thing to learn after you can ride. It's hopping. When you start to really get into flattened street, you'll find that you're generally in one of two states. You're riding or you're hopping. So to start, you're actually going to stand up and hold the handle. You'll find that you feel more comfortable with one foot in the front than you do with the other one in the front. For most people, this is going to be the same stance that you mount in. So for me, my right foot is always in the back. As a general rule, you're going to want to hold the seat with the hand that is opposite your front foot. So since I'm left foot forward when I hop, I usually hold the seat with my right hand. This is called a symmetrical stance, and most riders think it looks better to ride sim than it does to ride asim. As you get further down the skill tree, you'll find that switching hands is pretty easy. So for now, just hop in whichever way feels the most comfortable for you. Wow, look at you. You know, last, last time I told you to keep all your weight on the seat and keep your hands free. Now look at you. From here, keep your knees a little bit bent, hold a wall, and take a few small hops. The thing to keep in mind here is that you want every hop to be done on purpose. You don't want to just bounce all around with your legs locked. Get a feel for it before you let go of the wall. But when you do, it's time to start counting. Does that sound familiar? Count the number of hops you can do while you're in control of your unicycle, and then when you fall off, start over and try to beat the number you got last time. You're going to learn that setting these little goals is a theme throughout this series. That mindset is the ultimate way to become an outstanding unicyclist. You will always be thinking about the tiniest ways to improve. What you doing? Oh, nothing. Just uh, writing down some new trick ideas, some things I can do to get better at unicycling. Should I see? I'm still working on it at the moment. I need a little yes. more time. Eli bent. And what's he supposed to do? I don't know, but it's brilliant. <laughs> As it turns out, the entire trick system in unicycling revolves around this concept. Yes, that was a pun. I got you with a pun. So for example, now you can hop with the seat under you holding the handle, and you've practiced standing on the pedals. So to improve on those skills, the next thing we're going to do is try taking the seat out from underneath of you. So while you're hopping, use the hand that's on the handle to take the seat out from underneath you. From there, you'll grab the sides of the seat, and you can continue hopping just the way you were before, only now you're seat in front. You're going to want to get really comfortable hopping seat in front because it's kind of the foundation for all of the early tricks on this skill tree. In fact, pretty much as soon as you can hop seat in front, you're ready to try your first real flatland trick. So while you're hopping seat in front, move your feet in from the pedals onto the cranks. Wedge the toes of your front foot against the spokes of your wheel, like this. Hop for a little bit to catch your balance, and when you're ready, just let go of the seat. The frame should fall down until it gets caught by your toe, and then you can reach out, grab the seat, and pull it back up. That's a seat drop. If you don't land this right away, it's okay. This is your first real taste of what it's like to try a unicycle trick. While you're practicing seat drops, make note of things that go wrong if you don't land it. If you step off to the side, you know you have to lean a little more the other way. Or maybe you have to reach out and grab the seat sooner so you don't lose your balance. Either way, as you start landing more and more of these, try mixing it up. Practice dipping the seat lower and lower with your front foot. Try to swing the seat back up without using your hands to grab it. Unwedge your toe and try a variation called the seat bounce. Practicing seat drops is a surefire way to get comfortable hopping seat in front. You're also learning how to get consistent and how to think about your style. Which version of the seat drop do you think looks best? The slow controlled one 
Look at me, when I landed my first seat drop, I thought seat bounces were so cool, I literally shattered my unicycle's handle on my friend's driveway by accident. I was using it like a hammer. I've always had a heavy, aggressive style because I like how it looks. And it all started with my very first trick, the seat smash. So for this week's assignment, keep practicing your seat drops. Try to mix up the style and try landing a few in a row. Set yourself little goals. You should also try hopping down a curb or a pallet. If you're scared, you can try it into grass. If you're feeling ambitious, try a rolling hop. Pedal, grab the seat, hop, then keep rolling. You can also try hopping up a curb or landing a shifty. A shifty is just jumping, turning a little bit in the air, and then turning back to face forward. These are all ways you can get comfortable on your unicycle, because we're about to really get into the meat of these tutorials. In our next class, we'll be covering 180 degree hop twists, and from there the skill tree seriously opens up for you. This is an exciting time in your unicycle career. Enjoy it. I'll see you next time.